Can we just call it? I added pickles this time. <laughs> Can we just call it the giant McChicken? Oh. No wonder Mr. Coffee blocked me. If her lips are moving, she's lying. Right? Is that what you're going to say? Excuse me. I'm a celebrity and found you from Repsion. Oh, cool. Thanks, Repsion. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> no one cares! Someone is using my entire stream in their live stream and they are about to get striked. Cut that shit out. It's not my fault you are boring. You sit there and add an occasional sure jam? Coming for all of you. Go live and talk about yourself. Don't use my content as background. You do not have permission. If you actually react to relevant points or make parodies that is different. Or do a stream and talk shit but don't steal my content. It's boring anyway, right? I played talk to Roman earlier. He's gonna help me move. Listen, was I even gone that long? I was online all day, in my bed. Driving around too. I actually went to the dispensary. Accountable beauty, I would rather die. Well, I shouldn't say that. I would rather eat 500 of BBJ's turds than never see him again, so. Not die, but eat turds. Where did it go? I don't see your super shit. Uh, super shit. Super shop. We're not moving next week, and Pete said he never said that. You have questions? We'll answer them. Ask them, and I'll answer them. McCrispy, I'm a potato bud. McCrispy is a giant McChicken. Can we just call it? I added pickles this time. <laughs> Can we just call it the giant McChicken? Oh. No wonder Mr. Coffee blocked me. Why can't they put the mayo on the McCrispy? Okay, here we go. For every hard thing, so help me God, I'm suing. Yee bait. Everything tastes like weed. I hope you get lots of hard things. <laughs> Why? That's rude. Link to Pete saying you're moving in a week. You think it was a slip up? Because I asked him about it today. He said, no, he didn't. Well, we're not moving next week. So I don't know why he would say that. But <laughs> Why would I lie about when I'm moving? You thought I lied to you? I lied to you. Tell Pete to be more careful. <clears throat> I lie about everything. If her lips are moving, she's lying. Right? Is that what you're going to say? What? I'm acting nat or rolled up. Ask Pete and he said verbatim next week. Well, we'll just see when he comes down here, won't we? I thought you were moving into a high rise. Hmm. Excuse me. Yeah. I mean, you guys. I don't think I'm going to take the map with me. Maybe, but... <laughs> yeah, I gotta be careful what I reveal in order not to be doxxed. Although, I mean... Is Amber Lynn... The th Everyone knows where Amber Lynn lives, right? Like, she wasn't she... I think we should, uh... I don't know. I... I'm not afraid of people messing with me. I'm more afraid of like, I just, I'm not afraid of anything. I just, I don't know, I guess. No, I mean, I don't know if people find out where I live, they're going to message the landlord and like, dude, these people investigate who you are. So they already know who I am. Obviously they know my channel. Like it's 2022 people. Obviously that's the first thing they do is look people up on social media. <laughs> accountable beauty. Okay. Accountable beauty. Maybe I'll do that someday. Thank you guys. Yeah, so this is, I'm going to have to really smarten up though. Like, I have been living just like a life of shit for like a fucking, hour. pure shit. No, that's not true. Oh, come on, not pure shit. Life is a gift. Even when you're going through hard times, even though it's hard times, it doesn't mean it's complete shit. And when there's a will, there's a way. You know, you'll find your way. You know, I finally, I finally, you know, bit the bullet and was like, that's it. We're moving. Life of gluttony. <clears throat> I 
Accountable Beauty. I There's arrangements with CRA. Tomorrow, it's hard for me. Like, remember how I was doing good for a while, weighing myself every day? And then I get into a rut. And that's it. So yeah, if I'm gone for a few hours in the day, don't freak out. I know you guys are just teasing me, but... The life of gelée, gonorrhea, nashies, and tweakers. I basically give them every month, like, what I can, you know? This <laughs> is the arrangement that you don't answer the phone when they call. I have an account, a CRA account with the bank, so that, like, it's like a... You know how you pay your bills online banking? You can set up, like, let's say you have, like, um, MasterCard, Hydro, Ottawa... You set up your account number, all that fucking shit, and then you just transfer money. Well, that's what you do when you owe taxes here. You have a CRA account. You put your your SIN number, and then you just fucking, you know, you can you pay them in chunks. You can set up auto withdrawal, yeah. Auto withdrawal, I like to do that with my phone because I save 10 bucks a month. They have an incentive where, like, if you enroll into auto pay, you save, like, 10 bucks a month. How come... What's going on in the fucking verse today? Hi, Cruella. McDunce. Chantal's stressful move. It sounds true to me. I'm glad she's dealing with them. Well, yes, of course I have to deal with them. I'm going to go to prison. <laughs> you know. Ugh. I trust why HelloFresh was declined. I tricked those fuckers. No, I didn't get any money from my grandmother. I got a blanket, yeah. My grandma didn't have money. She didn't have much. I did not give the blanket to Natter. It's in my trunk. I got it back from him. I brought it to Natter's as a comfort measure. It's still in my trunk. Yep. All the clothes I brought back from the trap are still in the fucking tr trunk. Because, legal counsel, I do not want to pack today. <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do tomorrow. Remember? Actually, all afternoon I told you guys today what I was doing. So now that I'm missing, you just don't believe I actually do what I'm saying I'm going to do. Do not get involved in the drama because this is your job and you need money. Stay away from all these people. Yeah. That's a good idea. Stressful move. Oh yeah, I was supposed to have a guy over tonight, but... Well, does it look like my house is... Look, I still had this slush puppy cup here. No, I'm not having anyone over. I don't want anyone in this fucking villa for now. Until it's like completely... I don't know. Anyways. What I want to do... I was making a list of stuff I have to do this afternoon. And then I went to Spencer Beezing. I went for a drive. No, not so much real. I have a life beyond the camera. You guys don't realize this. And you know what? Sometimes I like to just go in other people's streams and just listen and chat. You always curse excessively after seeing that. <laughs> no, I don't! <laughs> oh my god! You guys don't actually think that, do you? <sighs> Text me. I'll fly swoop from Edmonton to Ottawa to help dispose of the boxes. <laughs> Edmonton? Where's that? That's beside Ontario. Hey, don't the kids in the hall live in there? Oh, no, that's Winnipeg. Oh, you live all the way in Calgary. Accountable Beauty, I'm not cleaning my this fucking place. I'm going to hire someone to do it. I'm definitely not going to travel now paying for my new place. I know, it's fucking expensive. Yeah, around that, Accountable. A fucking expensive place. Before my account got deleted, I was making, like, a lot of money. And then my account got deleted, and I went, like, what, a month with no content on that channel? So my income, like, just dropped. Oh, by the way, by the fucking way, what, I make 6K? No, I don't. Listen, I just happened to be in my studio trying to unblock people, and I seen that returning users, like, active users, subscribers, is 52,000. Can you react to that time when you got reinstated? Oh my god, right before my birthday ended. I was getting ready to go to Cuba. Do you guys remember? What happened in Cuba, none of us know. <clears throat> I was so emotionally fucked up. Oh my god, I was messed up. I think my heart's damaged from... Further damaged from everything I, uh, everything from this year. Just this, the insanity of it. Sofa, he like did worse. Like, he, like, legit did a sexual act on camera. Like, oh, prove it because nobody can see it. Okay. <clears throat> Any genius could make out what she was doing, so. <laughs> but I guess you can't prove it, right? Yes, Reginald, I did believe it. Remember? I was like, he was eating pecan pie. I believed everything he told me. 
how 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 amazing for Didi though. Hey, you want to suck my cock while I watch my ex? Like, what the fuck? Ugh, I'm so over these depraved individuals. Ask me to do that on camera, I fucking nudge them right in the fucking balls. I honestly do feel bad for putting everyone through this shit. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Where's our apology? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I still can't believe Gail. I know! I don't, like, does she not, did she not pay attention or something? I don't think, I don't understand that at all. I'm as confused about her behavior as I am about the guy on the bath salts who ate that guy's face off. It's so bizarre. Was she possessed? <clears throat> but that's almost like Gail is, it's almost like she wants a piece of that or two. Ew. Gail is absurd. Plain cheese. It's like Amberlynn going in his chat at fucking four. My therapist wants me to apologize to you. What? I know. She was in this chat for a long time and was nice. Yeah. <clears throat> she was looking for clout. I just... I don't understand. I think if there's anything in life that embarrasses me, if I had to do it myself, would be clout chasing. That would embarrass the fuck out of me. That would bug me. I don't know. Like, I can't. Maybe that's why I get I get secondhand embarrassment when I see people do it. Anyway, that was so fucking weird. But he, that little Yolanda, Yolanda weirdo do. I don't get that. Oh, I don't like Foodie Beauty anymore, so I'm gonna go suck up to her fucking abusive ex. The fuck? That's so fucking weird. It's not a flex to get Nato to talk to you. This guy will talk to any anything with a hole. Anything. Carly, Josh always had your back. Those are real YouTube friends. Yeah. Well, real people don't ever turn on you. I think people just need to formulate their own opinions. You know, if you formulate your own opinion about me, you don't like me, fine. Not everyone's going to like me. But, like, for leaving for stupid things that are not even true, like, I go get drugs in Montreal, really? No, never happened once. Not once did I buy any drugs in Montreal. Nope. At least not cocaine. I think I went to a dispensary for weed once there. Yeah, she was really early on. And I don't think, I think she stopped interacting when she, when I started memberships, a lot of people just never ended up getting memberships, remember? And then it was like a lot of drama, like, well, I would have mods of like people that I favorited, like the mods wouldn't have to pay for memberships, right? And then people were like, I drive to Montreal for orange julep, not drugs. Exactly. Love is a drug. So technically you bought drugs because Nader made it rain after meeting you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Didi, are you here? Speak out or forever hold your peace. D2 is the ultimate. I don't know why she fucking hate, doesn't like me. Like, why she's mad at me. Did I do anything to her? Other than be mad at her for what she did to me? No. I'd like to know personally what I did to D2. Other than talk about how they fucked me over. That, you don't like it? Oh, well, I guess you're an outer number three then. Because that's called gaslighting. We should try out for Survivor. I'm so hungry. Get the bomb food from Montreal. Yeah. I never fucking... The, the snow, yeah. I mean, I don't even know where he got it from. I always got it from him, so I don't know. <laughs> but we never went to Montreal to get it. Comb over Jack. <laughs> Comb over Jack Hoffer. <laughs> I'm just tired of people not owning their shit and blaming me for their shit. Like, no, you're not going to blame me for your fucking actions, pals. <clears throat> Damn! Keisha! Keisha Tell, I've actually been watching you since you were with BB. I really want to see you happy again, but it starts with you, love. All the best. Thank you, Keisha. Aw, I'm in for eight months. Ready to be me. Thank you, Keisha. I'm okay. I'm a lot happier now. Le comme over. <laughs> as long as I'm... You. What do you think you are doing? Sorry. Sometimes the cats are cute and I have to... I gotta let them have it. Get out of here! Did you say Koki and Komi? Oh my god, I, I can't. You guys are fucking... Ontario has great drugs. You don't have to go to Montreal for drugs. As long as I'm eating. Let's get more food. I'm kidding. Faith! 12 months! Wow, and still standing. Love you, girl. Oh my god. Thank you, Faith! Ready, shake, read, bees! <laughs> they charged me like 150 a gram. Can you say FFG rubber band lips? <laughs> Let's do, let's go to DQ. I can't. I smoked. Gotta order. Goodbye, 400 pounds. Hello, 500 pounds. 
No, I gotta stop ordering out. I'm becoming a food addict again because now I have no boyfriends. <laughs> I'm so dysfunctional! It's not funny! Imagine not being on any drugs. Like... Anything. Imagine just being completely natural. No medications. Just... I don't know. That would be so weird. What do you guys think? I don't know. Are any of you guys addicts? Was Didi pulling on his noodle again like a fidget spinner? <laughs> Bop it toy. When I seen that, I couldn't help but laugh. And I was so relieved to feel nothing. No jealousy, no envy to be in that position. Just pure... It was funny to me. And gross. Ready, set, be Rebe! Did you get four room at the new villa? Ugh, smells like... Smells like... Ugh, when I smoke, it smells like, like tobacco, but it's not tobacco. It's weird. I'm a celebrity and found you from Repsion. Oh, cool. Thanks, Repsion. <laughs> Most of us are still alive. Are you guys going to come to mine? Do we have permission to call the cops on Monty if he shows up at fashion show? <laughs> I mean, you can go if you want, I guess. <clears throat> I don't give a shit if he does his crap. If he fucking does his streams, just don't stream snipe me. <laughs> I'm so hyper. I didn't even take my wheelchair yet. Nathan would be like, no farting. <laughs> he asked, fucking guy, to make me delete my rolling down the hill video. He said he was gonna go through my videos and, and send me the ones. <laughs> he wanted me to delete, and I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> Even Natter used to get mad. He'd go, what do you mean, yeah, yeah, you say, yeah, yeah, you don't do. You say one thing, you don't do another. You do another thing. <laughs> and it was make me. Nathan, <laughs> Mitten, what? <laughs> we do the same thing. Ah, I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll delete it. But I did delete the rolling down the hill one, only because I privated it. And then he's like, I can still see see that it's you. <laughs> Red flags. This is not our Chinese. I don't know how to do accents, and I can't talk with normal. He's enraged all the time when he's talking. Fuck him for getting me. Right, Sofa. Fuck him for getting me to delete it. Now he want. <sighs> Look. I don't think that women normally act like this, where he's from, okay? He's not familiar with it. <clears throat> I probably get lynch mobbed in other countries. He's not funny. I've seen some lynch mob videos, they're not funny. They're actually really horrifying. Did you know that? Lynch mob justice is a thing in some countries. If honestly, if I lived in countries where that's possible, I'd be keeping a bottle of cyanide with me every day because you're not catching me alive. None of those people are catching me alive because I've seen the videos. <laughs> That's so far away. Why would anyone do that? We know you hooked up with Estran. You don't know shit. You don't think I would tell you? I'm just kidding. I was like, I'm not hooking up with her, she'll tell everybody. I'm not like that, only if you're an asshole. Look at the pattern. Okay, here's the deal. If you're a guy and you fuck me over, I will tell my audience about it. Alright? I'm just kidding, I won't. <laughs> Her eyes are still too white, hasn't hit yet. They're a little glassy, they are, yeah. Are they red? No. I can tell. I like when they start getting really red and heavy. Remember when DC Media was reactor? She's gone off the rails. I, uh, actually, I left a nasty comment for Charlie today. Charlie Gold. I was like, see, you're still trying to be relevant. Your channel didn't age well. Because <laughs> I saw it popped up on my homepage. She was talking about me. I don't know what she was saying. Fuck. <laughs> what reaction channels need to learn is not to go for Chantel. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. It's not not- I mean, it's not that I don't want people to react to my stuff. It's just uh, some people just take it way too far. Charlie yeah. excuse me, is at least funny and very vulgar. People who watch her are just like her. Hello. 
You think I should get off now? Uh, yeah. Who gets away with what? I know, I still can't believe there's some, like, <laughs> reaction channel that just got scared off. I think, I don't know, it's so hard to just... Do you ever find monogamy is weird? I'm gonna hook Chantel up with Oscar. <laughs> I guess I'm, like, technically seeing somebody, but... I guess it will feel more real once I'm actually with the person, I guess. Saying you're seeing somebody new every week. <laughs> I know you guys don't believe me, but... It's just because I was just, like, I've been dating, like, or I've been, like dating so putting myself oh my god look how funny my fingers look <laughs> those are the chubbiest fucking fattest air quotes ever is monogamy weird no chantaller <laughs> that's not anything to do with them you guys think about them more than me now but I, I don't blame you guys i'm trying to think like i try to be patient with people because i try to think like you guys don't know what goes on behind the scenes or in my head so how could you possibly know you know, you, you can only go by what you your lens is. So, like, you probably think, like, oh, you're looking for signs. Like, tell to, it's, it wasn't that long ago that, that I was messaging him even just to tell him off, you know? So, and the way it happened, it was like that. Like, it, it was like a snap. It was like a Thanos, I swear. A Thanos snap, and I instantly fucking just <laughs> completely done with him in every way. So, I don't know. And I, I didn't... You can say it doesn't work that way? No, it doesn't normally. But for me, it did. Steak and ketchup sofa. The writing's on the wall. No, the writing's not. The writing's on the wall, and it says... I think you would know if I was still really hung up on him. And I'm not, so... Well, at least he's not sniping, so... That's all that matters. Like, seriously, that was my problem, right? So. I try to be fair with everybody. I don't like being one of those people who just because I don't like somebody. I, w I won't like anything they do. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't look at human beings that way. There's like human beings are good and bad like we do bad things we do good things some more than others you know so i don't like to just completely dismiss somebody entirely just for certain things you know what i mean so i just if he respects that i don't like this the stream sniping then i appreciate that yeah i mean there's no need to snipe because like you know all of these reactors have their own build their own communities based around me and my content but still Usually it's people who feel, like, rejected by me for some reason. Like, I've noticed a lot of people, like, oh, you know, you know what I mean by that? So they'll go off and make, like, a community. And so, you know, people will still want to watch. Like, if you have fans, like, he probably has his own fans now, whatever. So, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to do it at the same time. It's all about money at the end of the day. Yes. Well, we should all be able to make money somehow. Reactors who play your whole video are so lazy and it makes it way too long to watch. Very true. Haters are fans in denial? You think so? Haha! <laughs> Amberlynn ordered a single soda? You have to be kidding. Oh, I ordered Twisty Misties before. Or no. Ah! I used to like FFG, but she's gotten cruel. Where does she even have any room to talk? Where? Where? <laughs> All my messages go through while I can say fuck shit, asshole. Bear Monty love whining. <laughs> Is it raining in Ottawa? Yep. <laughs> she ordered a Diet Coke from McDonald's for $15. <laughs> Is 
Yeah, well, you guys say she's boring. She still gets fucking 50k at least on a video. I get like 10. <laughs> I'm fucking doing vlogs from now on. And I'm gonna clickbait title them and I'm gonna show my fupa in every fucking thumbnail. And I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> this is your brain on drugs. Okay, I'm gonna go on my computer, okay? So I'm gonna get off my phone. Ready. Yeah, you wanna see this gross soda? Check these snacks out. Alright, here we go. This is the soda. This is called Special Release Turkey and Gravy Soda. I'm gonna throw up. I don't know if I can do it, man. You guys think you can do it? And then I have wrap snacks, little baddie, little baby, all in flavor. Salt, vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. I like wrap snacks. And then we got mango Pepsi. I'm going to open that right now so we can wash down that disgusting soda. Let's try this mango Pepsi. Cookies and cream kisses. Cookies and cream kisses, complimentary. A nerd's rope. A magnum ice cream bar. Oh, and these. Reese's snack cakes. Have you ever heard of these? Okay, let's try this disgusting fucking soda. Oh my god, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> if I smell it and think I'm gonna barf, I'm not gonna try it. I can't tell what the fuck it is. Okay, I'm gonna freak out. Would you? Holy fuck. That's nasty as hell. <clears throat> so was the mango Pepsi, though. That soda was disgusting. I don't know. I cannot even begin to tell you what the fuck it tastes like. These chips are so sour. They're good. Mm. I like wrap chips. These wrap artists know how to make a good chip, man. <clears throat> <laughs> and a nerd rope like I've been diagnosed with binge eating disorder they said my blood sugar was consistent with that of a diabetic that was before. Now my blood sugars have been... My blood sugar used to be like fucking 17. And now it's like 6. The sugar is so good. <laughs> it's more like a munchies binge, though. It's not a eating disorder binge. Do you know the beautiful home you could own with a mortgage payment? I don't know. Isn't the time. I know. I've been getting that from everybody. <laughs> I don't really want to own a home. I'm not ready for that kind of thing right now. In any way, financially, credit history wise, every single way, I'm just not ready. So I have, uh, you know, I'm getting, I'm basically renting a place. It's basically transitional, but it's more money, but I'm going to have to bust my fucking ass. That's all. Like I can have like afford it if I don't blow my fucking money on stupid fucking exotic Pepsi. <laughs> the fuck this pepsi was like four dollars you know like oh the wheelchair 70 dollar wheelchairs 72 bucks every time well i usually round it off to 75 i mean transitional as in like i don't know what i'm doing with my life right but sorry i feel in transition like even content wise I don't want to just do this all the fucking time. I want to do, like, real content and stuff, too. I don't mean it's, like, transitional as in, like... It's not a short-term rental. I want something all-inclusive, hassle-free as possible. And I, I don't... I'm stressed out by the move. Like, so fucking stressed out. 
you guys know how my anxiety is and you know how my health is and you know how my I'm lazy and you know <laughs> it's a struggle for me to push myself to do things so even like applying for homes was stressful well I don't want to like move my shit from there here to oh am I gonna clean it yeah I can't do anything without you look at that soda in the background it's, it's taunting me it's so fucking gross uh, it tastes like I can't describe it like 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 what you would expect dishwater oh my god it tastes like dishwater you always walk over somehow because it's in my spirit it's something I love to fucking do like I love doing this I'll be honestly so fucking sad like people like I don't know I appreciate you guys a lot and I know I do get like honestly I had a really hard time handling criticism at the beginning a really hard time but and I also had a hard time with the fine line between criticism and bullying and just mean people, you know, for a long time. It's so hard. So if I want to have like a really fucking cushy existence every day, it would cost me like about at least a hundred bucks a day, which is like $3,000 a month. <laughs> Because I mean like a hundred bucks a day. So like you spend like, let's say you do half a wheelchair. Let's say that's 35 bucks or whatever. And then the rest you have eating out or whatever. For like two people. How much do you think two people it costs for two people to eat in a day? They used to say 10 bucks a person. Oh, fuck no. It costs a lot more than that nowadays. Probably at least 30 a person, right? For the whole day? No, I would even say 50. Yeah, you're right pocket girl. 50. See, it just started getting bad, like, every other day. So that's when I know I need a tolerance break now. So that I can go back down to, like, 250. Usually when I take a tolerance break, I knock down to 250 again. And then it slowly climbs up to 1,000, and then I say, okay, I've never taken a whole fucking wheelchair at once. I won't let myself get to that point. No, I never have taken a whole one. I will not let myself get to that point. I know some people think I did on the fucking drinking night. Moscato night and I didn't. It was I think like a more than maybe a little less than half. I don't know. Wheelchair weeds. <laughs> they're very strong. They make you they're called wheelchair for a reason. They make you <laughs> That's why I use them for sleep, you know, to relax. Like they just they relax you. Like honestly, I'll go put my C bug on and I'll just won't even remember passing out. <laughs> so it's like you just but they are expensive. That many milligrams? Holy shit, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Those people who take too much weed and call 911. They think they're dying. It is. It's no. Oh my god. I've been paranoid like that before. Maybe just slightly less than that. But oh, fuck. It's, I can understand the paranoia. Look at this handsome man in the background. Look at this guy. Ew. Go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Good night. All right, I want to live in freedom. I want to dance with my demons. I want to drink for no reason and celebrate every season. Yeah, yo, call my place the kingdom. Because I got what you need. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what you see, please buy my merch. Link in the description below.